Off its best finish since 1998, a season ago, the Jumbos dive into the 2017 campaign to host Hamilton for the first time since 2014 on Saturday at 1 p.m. Uh, it's great to be back here. Uh, it's good to be back a week early. Um, you know, the NESCAC added its ninth game, so we actually get to play everybody in conference, which is a big feat. Been going on for 30 plus years <laughs> trying to make that happen. So within our league, we're all really excited. Uh, 17 practices before the first game is interesting, but we'll take it. We're not complaining. Um, and really looking forward to be able to bring a, another home game uh, to Medford. Um, but before I uh, move on, you know, J Jordan and, and Neil, congratulations to the both of you. Tremendous uh, effort, and as to echo Coach Gallup, really impressive in terms of uh, the appreciation you have for your teammates. So congratulations to you uh, moving forward. Uh, and also for the Notre Dame BC, the, the one thing Coach Gallup doesn't mention, it's, it's got a house divided in Wellesley. Uh, you know, as a BC alum and having a, a son who's a Notre Dame guy, uh, I can't imagine uh, where Mrs. Gallup's going to stay on the, on the continuum this weekend. But uh, She joins Tim Murphy on that. Yeah, I was going to say, she's smart. She stays right with him, right? She goes I, with family first. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, re really, really looking forward to this weekend. And actually, uh, on another side note, and I know a lot of other teams in here have, are a part of it, uh, this past week we actually drafted a, a, a Team Impact uh, member, for you guys who aren't aware about Team Impact. Uh, it's a tremendous local organization started by uh, some Tufts uh, football and Tufts, and Tufts alums um, that, that pairs, uh, you know, young kids uh, battling um, battling difficult illnesses uh, with, with college programs. And if, if your program does not participate, I think most of us in here pretty much do, I strongly recommend it. It's a tremendous group, tremendous organization, and we're really excited to have Zach Cummings. He had a heck of a week, got drafted at Gillette Stadium and threw out the first pitch at, uh, at Fenway last night. And most importantly, was an honorary team captain in, uh, at the St. Mary's uh, 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 first game of the year last, uh, last Friday. So really excited to have Zach. And, Again, if anybody wants more information on that, I'm more than happy to share that with you, as some of us in here can do that for you. Um, I echo what Coach Murph said in terms of first game of the year, uh, you know, trying to figure out who we are, trying to figure out what type of team we're going to be. Um, you know, defensively, I think I, it's certainly a, a strength for us. You know, we're returning nine starters. Um, three of our D linemen have been all conference, uh, two of them for the last two years. Um, you know, we, we return uh, the rookie of the year, middle linebacker, who's also uh, the Hero Sports uh, newcomer of the year last year as well, Greg Holt. Um, you know, uh, our secondary, we return uh, all of our starters, and then the secondary as well, both our corners, uh, Tim Preston, who played at Lawrence Academy, Alex Lapiano, who's out of North Carolina. Uh, both our safeties, uh, two of our captains, Brett Phillips and J.P. Garcia. Um, you know, re really excited about that group. Filling in at the defensive lines, a local kid, uh, Tom Baker, out of Needham High. Uh, he's, uh, he'll be starting at the D-line for us uh, and, uh, you know, trying to figure out uh, in our outside linebacker position <coughs> who's going to earn that role on Saturday. Uh, offensively for us, you know, it's hard not to, to state the obvious. Uh, replacing Chance Brady is a difficult thing to do, um, but so far the team's done a great job. Uh, you know, uh, some local guys, Jack Dolan and Mike, Mike Miller. Uh, Jack's out of Wellesley High, starts at slot receiver for us. Mike Miller, uh, outside receiver, uh, Wakefield kid. Uh, really done a great job, you know, starting to create production on the flank for us. Our quarterback, Ryan McDonald, returns. Uh, he'll be a junior out of New Jersey. Great, great player, very dynamic uh, with the ball in his hand. Uh, and, you know, Don Borelli right now is currently the guy that uh, is taking on the charge to, to replace uh, the production of Chance Brady, but as a whole, I think the offensive line's been the place I've been most impressed with. We returned two starters there. Um, the other three guys that have stepped in have really done a nice job. So, you know, looking forward to, to seeing what type of team we are and what our identity is. Uh, Hamilton comes to town. They're, you know, really, really well-coached team. Uh, year three with Coach, year four with Coach Murray. Uh, and they're uh, going to pro provide us a, a, a big challenge. They had one of their best years in recent memory up there. Um, and uh, I know they're coming back with, uh, with, a, with a lot of uh, vengeance and certainly uh, excitement to be back on the field. So congratulations, everybody, next week. Uh, I mean, good luck to everybody next week. Congratulations to you guys, and uh, best of luck. Stay healthy.